You ready? Most of the people that I speak to on the street when I'm, you know, trying to promote shows will just like, wait, all girl band, specifically for women, without men there. Hasidic alternative rock, <laughs> can't even imagine it. It's not what you would think, but it's, it's absolutely true. we're only playing for women is that there is a mitzvah as a commandment for Jewish men not to listen to women who are not either their wife or a family member singing. But more than that, we specifically want to create a space that's just for women. The general assumption is that we're cutting out half our audience, which I suppose that's true, but I mean there are only like what three billion women in the world. Like I think I think we're good with that. aren't men there, whether or not people want to admit that there's that tension there, you know, or not, there, there always is. And to have it in a space where women are not putting themselves in a position where they have to be seen in a certain way or objectified in a certain way, it just takes away a lot of the distracting sexual tension and just keeps it pure and strong. Performing for all women just allows me to relax a little bit more and just play more, more the way I would by myself, even. In terms of an all-girl band in the Hasidic community, we're not necessarily the first, but we're definitely the only that we know of that are trying to promote ourselves outside of just our community. I think that the music is definitely something that, you know, has a crossover appeal, and it's not something that only Jewish women would appreciate. We're modest women, we're powerful women, and not only is it not unkosher to express yourself and to perform, it's, it's something that you should do. To hold it in is to waste it in a way. If this is what you're good at and you can utilize it and use it in a powerful and in a, you know, in a holy way, then you absolutely should.